Hi everyone, my name is Yehuda Holtzman. I am a content contributor to Yeda Center. Today's session is about calculating software license renewal, and it's gonna be a relative basic session. I suggest that we begin by explaining the importance of calculating percentage of license renewal. Subscription licenses relies on the fact that a customer will renew his license at the end of the current subscri subscription period, whether at the end of the month, year, or any other period. Our ability to predict and, on the other hand, to meet our forecast for the renewal rate is critical for several reasons. I'm going to mention two of them. The first is our ability to build a proper business plan for months and years ahead based on the forecast renewal percentage, which is directly linked to the company income. The second reason is profitability. Gaining a customer costs us money, advertising, exhibition, flights, and many other expenses. It is important to ensure that customers generate higher income compared to the cost of gaining or acquiring them. And the renewal rate provides us a broad view with respect to customer acquisition return on investment. Now, if we calculate the renewal rates correctly, it will provide us both current status, but also trends and good look at the near term future. So how do we calculate the percentage of license renewal? It sounds quite trivial, right? Well, it can be, depends on the situation, yet it can also contain several complexities that need to be addressed. I will mention three basic possibilities for calculating the license renewal percentage and the relevant complexities. So let's start with renewal by number of customers. And support that we have 100 customers, 90 renewed the license, meaning 90% renewal, simple. Now let's spend a minute explaining the benefit of measuring renewal by customers and what are the limitations. So customers are the most important for anyone who sells a product or a service. Without customers, we do not have the right to exist as a business, and therefore, we must measure our ability to retain our customers. Hence, customer renewal rate is the first parameters we will look into. Even though calculating this parameter, in my opinion, is mandatory, it is not always sufficient. It is only sufficient in a situation where we have one type of license and each customer holds one license. Then calculating renewal based on number of customers is actually same as renewal by number of licenses. So if we return to the previous example where we have 100 customers all having the same license and each customer holds a single license, then we have 100 customers, 100 license, and if 90 licenses are renewed, then 90% renewal of licenses, and this is the same as renewing rate for customers. According to the uh, following example, now we have 100 customers, out of which 90 customers each having a license of $100 and 10 customers each having a license of $1,000. So altogether we have 90 times 100 plus 10 times 1,000. Therefore, we have an annual income of $19,000. So just to take the example one step forward, let's assume that all 10 Customers with an annual license of $1,000 each did not renew the license. So still, out of 100 customers, 90 renewed, 90% renewal rate. But in terms of revenue, we are seeing a 53% drop from $19,000 to $9,000 
which is very significant drop, which was not reflected when looking at the 90% customer renewal rate we just seen. As I already mentioned, measuring the percentage of renewal by number of customers, in my opinion, is mandatory, but not sufficient. Another option is calculating renewal by number of licenses. Measuring the percentage of renewal by license is only effective if all customers have a similar license. For example, let's say that all 100 of our customers have license of one type of $100 per year. But this time we assume they hold different amounts. So, 90 customers hold each one, one license. A license of an annual cost of $100. And 10 other customers now hold each 10 licenses. Altogether, they are holding 100 licenses. So, we have altogether 190 licenses from the 100 Customers, each for $100. 190 times 100, $19,000. If all those 10 customers, each holding 10 licenses, did not renew, the result this time is that 90% of customers have renewed, but only 90 out of the 190 licenses renewed, that is a loss of 53% of the licenses and this helps us identify that there is a problem and this is reflected here. We actually feel that we need another parameter and it is the third we will discuss and this is renewal based on revenue. Renewal based on revenue can be presented by various parameters such as MRR and ARR. MRR, monthly recurring revenue, this reflect the monthly turnover of the company from its subscriber customer, mainly in reference to software products using subscription model. ARR, annual recurring revenue, is the same but with a view of an annual turnover of the company from its subscriber customers. In this case, for example, the AR at the beginning is $19,000, at the end of the year is $9,000, therefore we can see a revenue drop of 53%. Wanted to show you another example just to show some simple complexities that we need to be aware of. So in this case, we have 10 customers. Five customers each with $100 license and five at $1,000 license per year. Now, the five customers with $100 license did not renew. So, out of the 10 customers, our renewal rate is 50%. Five cancelled and 5 renewed. By revenue, the renewal rate is 91%. We can see that 5 times $1,000, those renewed the license. Before that, we have the 5 times $1,000 plus the 5 times $100, and again, 91%. Now, let's add a small twist. The 5 times the $100 per year still cancelled. But what we've done now is that those that renewed the five times $1,000, this time we increased their price by 10%. So the new annual license is $1,100. The outcome that the renewal by number of customers is still 50%, yet by revenue, the renewal is 100%. The more different your contract and customers, the more important it is to understand the characteristics of licenses renewal according to different parameters. 
This will assist in optimizing SaaS-based business operations. So some food for thought, and again, let me throw some uh, situations that I'm sure some of you are going to encounter. If say our customers are a store, how should we refer to stores that shut down, but nothing related to us? They obviously did not renew the licenses, but not because they were dissatisfied with our product or because they switched to our competitor. In other words, we have lost a customer and its revenue, yet it can't necessarily deduct much information that we can learn from. Let's say, again, this is another scenario, a customer renewed his license one or two months after the expiration date and not immediately upon its termination. What, how do we count them? To summarize this basic this short session, we reviewed three methods to calculate license renewal by number of customers, number of licenses, and by revenue. We discussed when to use each parameter, and in order to decide which parameter to use, we should have a good understanding of our license renewal characteristics, and in most cases, we will present the renewal rate using more than one method. So good luck with calculating your renewal rate and see you at the next video. Thank you.